wanted to do a little video on how to do a bit of bass with Serum by Xfer Records. For years I was using what's called a boom bass or what's nowadays called an 808 bass. I used to sample that a lot. I always used to call it boom bass. This is the thing that I'm talking about. So I used to sample that out of uh, just whatever songs and stuff. At some point I just wanted to learn how to do it. It's extremely simple. It's just, it's very, very easy to do if you um, grasp the basics of synthesis. We're going to start with, I'm going to go for analog. Um, oh yeah, this, this is the sine wave, basic sine wave on the sort of sub or this very simple bass that that's that was used a lot in old school drum and bass for example so we want to get the snap that's heard in the beginning of many uh, boom basses so yeah we don't really have the snap here right now so all you have to do is take an envelope um, let's go for LFO1 and just assign it to chorus pitch and let's not loop it that's actually doing it a little bit already you can you can go to matrix and here you can just adjust the amount like let's say how high it jumps before it comes down it sounds more like it and if i want to touch this let's take a look So we're definitely getting closer to somehow useful boom bass. If, if we go for really quick values here, you get, it gets really quick. It's easier to hear if you play it higher. It's that sort of snap that helps you have the bass cut through the mix, even if you have a busy mix. It's that little snap that really helps you have it come through the mix way better than just a regular sine wave. Like, let's compare. This is the basic sine wave. Maybe that's a little, ex it sounds a little extreme, but... Anyways, yeah, so... So that's it basically. Also you could, if you want it to fade out, you can just uh, set the sustain and decay so that it actually fades out. What else? You could actually go for a filter and a little bit of drive. This is the Moog filter. Getting louder now but you get the point also if you want to go for something a little more noisy check out the square wave this I love it I just I've always loved square bass because it has the harmonics and um, it definitely cuts through, through the mix even better than well sine wave doesn't really cut through the mix as it is um, without the snap so You could, of course, modulate the cutoff to, you could just set an envelope if you want to do a little filter sweep, just, there you go. Yeah, just disable the, the loop. So yeah, very, very simple synthesis basics, hope you like it. It's it's these little tricks that you have to know to get going you could go for well honestly you don't really need the sub sub oscillator because i would say there's definitely enough bass what i do um the last thing i use the um span by voxengo just to make sure that i have enough bass i used to get i mean i'm trying to get the 
bass to hit around somewhere around 40 and 60 hertz it should be strong around around that area which it is that makes for a great bass you have everything you need so yeah hope you like it get serum definitely recommend it it's a great synth i'll try to do more in the near future peace out